Good morning, Gemini. How are you doing this beautiful, beautiful Thursday? Woo, we're getting to the end of the week. Soon we will have the weekend. All right. I just want to give a big thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel and has been watching my readings. I hope they've been bringing insight to all of you. I've had some great comments, people even coming to my morning chats, and they've had a lot of amazing things to share with me. I really appreciate all of you, all my gratitude, all my love, okay? All right, Gemini, it's time to get into your reading for today, for this week. Hmm. It is really cold here. I'm wearing a sweater. I have pants on. I have socks on. I'm, I'm still cold. It's not enough. And it just suddenly changed. All right, you guys know how this works. Please use discernment in these readings, all right? Not every single general reading is going to match up with your energy. Okay, Gemini? If you feel this doesn't resonate, Check out my other readings with other sign uh, placements for you, okay? All right, Gemini, what do you need to know? What does Gemini need to know today? We have the King of Coins. Hmm. So I feel some of you are actually in a, a state of feeling just kind of stable. And I feel that you're, really, you're ready and willing to offer something here with this King of Coins. You may be really ready to offer something. Ah, we have 10 of wands. Okay, so some of you may be stressed about work or work situations here. You're feeling a bit overburdened. Not surprised if you're in the King of Coins energy here. This may be your number one priority as of late is how much you work. Okay, let's get one more card. And we have the Hermit. All right, Gemini, so some of you um, may need to pay attention. You may be kind of isolating yourself, but... I feel the purpose of whatever it is you're doing with work is actually helping you to go within here with the hermit. You may need to relieve some stress. I don't know how you do that, Gemini. There may be some way you get rid of this stress here because you are definitely overburdened and you may be coming to the end of something here that is based around work or it's based around money, okay? And I think you may be thinking, pos I think you may be thinking, <laughs> I had a long night. Um, I think that you might be thinking of what to do next, okay? This could be a job situation where it's too much and you wanna let go. Yeah, we have 10 of cups on the bottom of the deck here. I just spotted it. So you may be thinking about your future happiness, your future abundance here. So let's go ahead and get into clarification for this reading okay all right tell me about the king of coins tell me about the king of coins please i would like to know about the king of coins i would like to know about the king of coins thank you tell me about the king of coins Tell me about the King of Coins. Okay, we've got Nine of Wands. Sun in reverse, yeah. You know, whatever it is you do for work, Gemini, and Emperor energy here, hmm. I feel like this is still your energy. I thought for a moment there might be someone else. This is still your energy. Um, whatever it is that you do for work, okay, be careful, Gemini, because I feel some of you are kind of getting not only stressed at, at this job, but I feel as though there's, th there isn't much joy there. You're trying to keep it under control here with the emperor and you're doing it in a very good way. I think that you, at least in this profession or whatever it is that you do, um, it gives you a space to feel confident. It gives you a space to feel as though you are striving and moving towards something here with the emperor energy um with the nine of wands i do worry a little bit that maybe some of you are really actually giving up i don't want to say giving up but you're, you're you're like on the verge of it because of the the unhappiness at the current the current job or heck this could even be a relationship but let's get more tell me about the ten of wands 
Yeah, four of pentacles. Yeah, this is definitely... Oh, okay, here's another person. This is another person's energy here on the board. We've got a king of cups energy. And there's your energy again. Okay, king of wands. You know, I feel, Gemini, that... Um, communication you, you may be communicating with someone that that is opening up your emotional field okay and it could be a possible water sign and here with the four of pentacles your, your heart may be closed off to this situation because you are so focused on your finances this could be someone you might not be really noticing i hear this for some reason I, i'm getting this message some of you may not notice that this person is trying to get you to open up your emotions because you're all up here with the ten of wands and i feel you may see this person regularly and if you don't it's someone that you have communicated with recently something along these lines this is very interesting tell me about the hermit i feel like we're going to get a couple more answers here some better answers here oh three of swords okay this changes things up this changes things up hold on five uh eight of cups in reverse and five of pentacles. Wow. I, I, I just, I don't know why or I was about to say five of pentacles, even though I knew it was eight of cups. And then it came out as the five of pentacles. What is that? Okay. That's some crazy psychic shit here. But, um, you know, <sighs> Gemini, I feel like some of you may be stressed, um, at your job or at work. Okay. Or just about finances in general, because you are currently trying to heal some kind of heartache and I feel you're starting to, but one of the reasons why you're you're going within with the hermit is because there is some disappointments that you're checking out here some stuff from the past that you just don't want to let go of yet and it could possibly be a relationship here that um was abandoned left out in the cold uh that you're you're wanting to either rekindle this relationship or you're hoping you know you can heal all of the disappointments from what has happened in this relationship. You may currently still be in this relationship and it could be this water sign here. You're tr I feel like you're, there's, there's something in the way. It's kind of how I felt since I started doing your reading here. It's like, there's something to be said, but there's something in the way. This is, and I feel that it's this here with the uh, Eight of Cups. It's some kind of disappointment and the heartache that you're healing combined that is keeping you from something here with the Four of Pentacles, keeping you from maybe opening up. Okay, so let's get some more here. You're, you're trying to keep it under control, and I feel you're doing a pretty good job here with the Emperor, but tell me about the uh, Sun card in reverse here. This does worry me a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Strength, yeah, it's like I thought. You're doing pretty good keeping yourself under control here. You're doing the best that you can, um, but I fear that maybe you have replaced a bit of joy with uh, fortitude, okay? Uh, like you've, you've replaced the... How do I want to put this? Your staying power has been overriding your inner child. That's the best way I can put it. Okay, let's go ahead and ask about... I want to know about this King of Cups. Because this is a possibility. This is also you needing to access this. Okay. Ah, Herman in reverse. Yes, this is the message I'm getting here for. This won't be for all of you. Some of you, it is actually a water sign you're dealing with. But yeah, you know, I feel that you need to actually go in about your emotions and the state of your emotions. Because I think that with this Ten of Wands energy, it's kind of like, I'm so stressed. Uh, what is the point? Okay. Okay. What is the point in, in accessing my emotions? But over here with the hermit, I think you kind of already know that if you just go in, look for that light, you're going to be able to start healing this heartache. And examining the disappoint disappointments in your relationships or disappointments in life that you're currently going through is a good idea because it will actually open up the heart space and allow you some, some actual growth here. Okay, let's go ahead and get you... Yeah, I just feel overall here, Gemini, whatever you're stressed about, access your emotions, okay? Because I think you need to get something out here.
tell me what advice do we have with the moonology deck we're going to pull one moonology card and then we're also going to pull a love card and i may pull an energy oracle card for you guys it's time to take action wow look at that okay hermit energy as well um king of wands energy i i feel as though this is something you have been putting off one minute i forgot to pull one card for over here i want to know this tell me tell me about the uh hermit energy tell me about the hermit energy over here yes king of pentacles which is exactly the same as the king of coins here i feel you know it's not necessarily a bad thing to be grounded within yourself and to go into work to get busy some people say oh you should never use work as an escape but you know what sometimes we have to so i feel what has happened here is that for some reason um you are you are using work as an actual escape from this ten of wands okay but it's actually causing you more stress if you don't go within and access these this emotional kind of space that needs to heal so you may need to actually physically take the action of rest and sit back get to know yourself again and try to figure this out okay let's get you a lover's oracle card balance yep love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges let's go ahead and actually get you one of these i want to get you uh, an energy oracle one more here take the time to balance okay because i do feel here one aspect of you has replaced the other okay gemini and i think that that is because you have been stressing yourself with a lot of burdens you know it's like you've come to the end of this road and you have all this stuff on your back and it is time for you to release it okay and time for you to start something new so what energy oracle card do we have for you today patience <laughs> you know um yeah I think that maybe you, you, you have been, you have been needing to be a little more patient with yourself here with this Hermit energy in reverse, sun in reverse. You need to allow yourself the space to think, okay, this is just, this is just what I see here. You need to give yourself the time to think and be patient with yourself. Okay, Gemini, because I think that your you're going through it. <laughs> you're going through this disappointment here and this heartache that you're trying to heal. And it's starting. It's starting to heal. Be patient with the process. It's going to take time, but you can't actually do this. All right, guys. I hope you liked this reading. Very personal, actually, for Gemini today, this energy. not It's a very personal energy. I feel it. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, the information is down below, or you can come join me over on my Patreon page for the following extended for $6 a month. Love you guys and see you soon.